Good morning everyone and welcome to another Reach Daily Devotional. My name is Sanjay Palmer and it's a privilege to be here with you. I was wondering if we could uh, have a look at a piece of a scri- piece of scripture before we start the devotional. It's from the book of Isaiah, it's from chapter 43 verses 1 to 2. And I'm going to read from the Passion Translation. This is what it says. The Eternal One says... Remember who created you, O Jacob, who shaped you, Israel. See, you have nothing to fear. I, who made you, will take you back. I have chosen you. I have named you as my own. When you face stormy seas... I will be there with you, with endurance and calm. You will not be engulfed in raging rivers. If it seems like you're walking through fire, with flames licking at your limbs, keep going. You won't be burned. Wonderful words, aren't they? Of course, these are words aimed at Israel and the promise that God made over Israel, that it would be uh, uh, the chosen uh, people from whom the Messiah, the Saviour of the world, Jesus, yes, and Messiah, would come and rescue his creation. He would tell a better story over his creation. He would speak a better story over his creation and bring his creation into his story. See, many, many years ago when I was studying sociology, um, I came across a concept called a labelling theory. And if I remember rightly, what this theory said that whatever you label a child as, whatever you label a person as, and if you repeat that label with the implication of what that label means, sooner or later, that child will become the label like a self-fulfilling prophecy and that suddenly struck me of late because you know as we as we as we live our lives I wonder if Sanjay I wonder if we are living as who we are meant to be and I don't speak from some great place of yeah I know I definitely know who I am I've got it sussed and I've got it sorted I'm on a journey, but that's the key thing. I'm on a journey. I recognise that I'm on that journey. And you know, life has a way of throwing over these, like what I call uh, blankets of doom uh, and lies over us. The world, our brokenness and the enemy. And before long, we've been listening to these labels for so long that we believe in them, that we're not going to amount to much, that life is going to work out as rubbish, there's nothing much out there, or is this all there is, yeah, I better better settle for it. And God spoke to me through these verses, and he says, and his voice cut through the darkness, cut through the dimness, cut through the heavy blankets covering my soul and my spirit and my heart, and he said, I have called you And I have named you to be something so very unique. And I believe for every one of us, he has got a unique name for us. A name which he wants to and is speaking over us. That if we would listen to his voice long enough, that we would rise up into that name. We would rise up into that calling. And it might be tough. And I know. Yeah. And we might fall and graze our knees and on the dusty ground of life. But God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit is there with us, arms around us, picking us back up again, just dusting off the, uh, the dust from our knees and uh, tending our grazed, broken uh, knees. Encouraging us and saying to us, yeah, keep going. I've called you. And I've named you to be. Hear what I have named you to be. Hear what I have called you into being. And I, yeah, I know it's not easy. 
yeah, I know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we, we make mistakes. I make mistakes. But God is love. And his perfect love covers a multitude of sins, of bad decision making. And so I'm learning to journey with Jesus. Learning to hear his voice. There are times when it's hard. There are times when it's easy. But I think his trumpet call through those verses, verse 1 where he says, See, you have nothing to fear. Hear that. Hear that. If you're listening this morning and you're thinking, what's happening? Hear this, that you have nothing to fear because God has made you and he, was, he has named you as his own. God bless you. You know, I want us to listen to this worship song. And uh, as you listen to the song and as you hear the song and the words and the lyrics will come up on the screen. Just come before God and say I'm sorry for listening to the lies of the enemy and my brokenness. I want to hear what you have to say over me. God bless you.